Hello guys, how are you all doing? So you guys are welcome to my channel once again. My name is Charles Chinosu and I'm glad to have you here. So on this channel, I talk about ways you can make money online and things you can do for yourself to get better results in your internet marketing activities. So in today's episode, I'll be talking about how you can use Seller as a payment gateway from other countries in Africa and even in the world. So I'll be going straight to my Seller account. If you don't have a Seller account or you don't know how to create a Seller account, I dropped a link in the description section where you get to see how you can create a seller account for yourself. So once you've created your seller account, log into your account and you'll be on this place. So the next thing you do is you click on this three dash up here. You can see the three dash. Let me highlight this for you guys to see. So click on this three dash. Once you click on that, it will take you down here. You can see what we have here. We have creator profile. Yours could be something like this. Yours could be affiliate profile. So if yours is affiliate profile, it means you want to take it back to creator's profile. Uh, once you're in creator's profile, Click on the three dash again, then you come down to where you have products. So then you click on add products. So once you click on add products, you have something like this. So you can see the different kind of products you can sell on seller. So you can sell fiscal products, digital products, services, subscription, and all that. But then we are not trying to sell anything here. We just want to use this platform as a payment gateway. So I'll be using digital products as an example. So once I click on digital products, I'll click on next. So the next thing we do now is we wait for this to load. So we'll be filling up all this uh, information. We are not trying to sell any products. We just want to use this platform as a payment gateway. So the first thing you do is just put a, a random image here if you don't really need to sell a product. But if you want to sell something, just uh, do what is needed. So I'll just be putting a random image here. So let's browse through my images. So let me just use something like this. Let me use this image for the purpose of this video. So I just uploaded that image. So here yeah, put in a name here. Yeah. So I just use payment gateway as my name. So I'm just using random stuff. But if you are uh, really interested in selling a product or service, you want to do what's needed. So then we'll be using a random price here too. So I'll be using 6,500 in error. So then the next thing you do is you put in a description here. Yeah. You describe what you're trying to do. So I'll just write something like this is my payment gateway. payment gateway so the next thing we do now is we we'll get to select a category so we'll be using business as our category so then you scroll down then you leave this as digital products then you uncheck this you see where they have give buyer access to a file uncheck it then you select automatically redirect buyer to an external uh url after a purchase that way you need to check then yeah you put in uh, a link which you want people to connect with you with after they must have make payments on your link so i'll be putting in a link like uh let me see i have something on my board here so i'll use this link this is my youtube link so once you do that then you click on create product so okay they said i need to select a subcategory so let's select a subcategory right away so let's see the options we have here so i'll just choose e-commerce as my subcategory Remember, we are just trying to use this as a payment gateway. So click on create products. So let's see. So now we've done uh, creating our products. So that means this is the link people will use to access our products or to make payments to us. But before we click on this link, let's go to our settings. So click on this three dash up here. Once you do that, go to settings. Go to settings. You can see settings here. So click on stock currencies. So when you, once you click on stock currencies, uh, this is loading. So what you do now do is you click on Ghana CDs because you want to receive money in Ghana. You can see the different currencies here. You can receive in dollar, you can receive in pounds, in Ghana CDs, in Kenya currency, and all these other ones. So we'll be using Ghana CDs, which is GHS. So once you click on that, uh, let's check again. So over here, you uncheck all these, you uncheck all these currencies, then you leave it as GHS. Do you understand? And if you, if you wish to receive money from all these currencies, then you check everything. So can you see the two things we did there? So now you update details. You update details. You can see this, your stock currency have been updated. So once you do that, then you go back to our previous page. So let's copy our products link here. So once you copy the product link, let's copy the link test and paste it on our browser. So 
you will see that this 6500 naira it will appear in Ghana cities when we want to try to use it and make payments. So let's go to our browser and see what we have. Let me paste the link over here. So then I'll search for the link. So you see what we have here. So you can see. Can you see? So you can see when you click on where you have this Nera stuff. Let me show you guys what I'm saying. Can you see? When you click on that, you will see that there's a there's an option for ghana cities can you see so just change it to ghana cities and you'll see the price in ghana cities you can see the price here so it means whoever wants to pay you any amount of money in any currency you just need to send them this link and they'll pay through this link so if they should click on buy now let's assume the person is in ghana uh you click on buy now then they'll click on checkout then they'll put their name and email then they'll click on pay now so it will bring out where they will fill in their card details and they'll be able to pay you instantly so once they've paid you obviously they'll reach out to you through wherever you guys are communicating so that means the money will also appear on your own wallet so this is how you use seller to receive payments from anybody across the several currencies you saw there i'm sure a uh, seller doesn't receive money across all countries in africa so and also not all countries in the world too but then we saw a uh, us dollar we saw great british pound and we saw some other major currencies so these are used sellers to receive payments so if you got value from this video ensure to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that i can get subsequent values when i drop them bye guys